Hello friends, welcome to See to Learn. For our today's video, I have taken some fruits and a bowl of water. I'll put the fruits in water one by one. Here goes the chiku, followed by an orange. Surprised? The chiku sinks, but the orange, despite being bigger, is floating. Let's try with this apple. It floats. What about this banana? It floats too. Pomegranate also floats. I tried some other fruits too, like lime and lemon. The lime floats while the lemon sinks. Moreover, the lime with rind floats while the one without rind sinks. So what we see here is that some fruits sink in water while some float. Whether an object floats or sinks depends upon a characteristic property of the object called density. Density is the mass per unit volume. To calculate density, we divide mass of the object by its volume. Thus, the object which has more mass in equal volume is more denser, right? SI unit of density is kg per meter cube. The objects having density lower than that of water float, while those with density higher than water sink. These fruits have density less than water, so they float, while chiku and lemon being denser than water sink in it. Now, I have put a lemon in water. It has sunk to the bottom, right? See what happens when I put some salt in water. Oh, the lemon is slowly rising up. Look, now it's floating in water. Why did this happen? The salt dissolved in water and this increased the density of water. When most of the salt was dissolved, the lemon came up to the top. So, the density of the lemon is less than salt water but more than normal water. Here we compare the densities of different solids with the density of water. But different liquids too have different densities. Let's take some dishwashing liquid soap, water and vegetable oil in a glass. Allow them to settle for some time. See, we got different layers of the liquids. Liquid soap being the most dense of the three settles at the bottom. Water forms the middle layer and vegetable oil forms the top layer. Thus, liquid soap's density is more than water but oil's density is less than that of water. Here we are comparing density of these two liquids with respect to water. Such comparison of density of one substance with respect to the other is called relative density or specific gravity. Thus, relative density is the ratio of density of a substance to the density of the reference substance. And since it's a ratio of two densities, relative density has no unit. Here, the reference substance is water. Density of water is around 1000 kg per meter cube. However, it can vary depending upon temperature and density of vegetable oil is around 950 kg per meter cube. So, relative density of vegetable oil is 0 0.95 and since this value is less than 1, oil floats on water while relative density of liquid soap is greater than 1 and hence it sinks. Now you know that ice floats on water because its relative density at 4 degrees C is 0 0.92. Wood has relative density 0 0.8 while glycerin has 1.26. So you can see here that when I have added glycerin to colored water, it sinks. 
we'll study more about flotation in the topic buoyancy buoyant force and gravitation so stay connected for more engaging videos and don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks all